We do have adversaries out there that use chemical weapons, biological weapons. We can very well find ourselves in an environment where we're faced with a chemically de degraded environment. By actually practicing this with the mop gear, we're increasing the proficiency of our gunners, our VCs, and our drivers to actually manipulate the vehicle and the weapon system. In the event we have to fight in full mop, we're prepared to do so. The importance of heightened protection is when we go and if there is a chemical threat, it's not going to always be inhalation chemicals. We could get out there and it could be burn type chemicals. Everyone in the Marine Corps should be conducting this kind of training right now due to the threat that's out in the world. As a light armor reconnaissance unit with LAVs, those vehicles can pretty much go anywhere you need them to go. There's really no climb or place these vehicles can't go. So as light armor reconnaissance, that's the standard we keep. And that's just the nature of the Marine Corps to be prepared for any situation that can be thrown at our plate. It's going to make us a more ready fighting force when the time comes. The Marines will be used to operating in these types of environments. No matter what the threat is, they will be ready for it.